Today we're going to learn a fun and easy way to round whole numbers. I like to call it Cinderella rounding. In order to find Cinderella, the first thing you have to do is to know to what place value we're going to round the number off. Are we going to round it to the nearest 10, 100, 1,000, 100,000, million? Let's use this number, 1,418, which we will round to the nearest 10. Who is Cinderella? Cinderella always stands in the place to which we're going to round the number. So since we're rounding to the nearest 10, Cinderella is the number in the tens place. So in the number 1,418, the 1 is Cinderella. Now you all know the story of Cinderella. There was a fairy godmother that changed Cinderella either into the wonderful princess or left her the same poor old Cinderella. So we're going to have to find the fairy godmother. She always stands one place to the right of Cinderella. So if you remember, the one in the tens place was Cinderella. So one space to the right is the fairy godmother. Who is the fairy godmother? You're right. Since she always stands one place to the right of Cinderella, in the number 1,418, the 8 is the fairy godmother. Now she's going to use her magic wand to determine if Cinderella becomes the princess or if she just remains Cinderella. Now, does the fairy godmother have enough juju or magical power to do the job? Here's how we're going to know. If the fairy godmother is five or higher, she will have enough power, and when she places the wand on Cinderella, poof! Cinderella moves up in the world, becomes the princess by becoming the next higher number. But if the fairy godmother is the number four or below, she won't have enough juju in her magic wand, and when she touches it to Cinderella, clunk! Nothing. Cinderella just stays Cinderella, and the number doesn't change at all. Okay, our number was 1,418. Who is Cinderella? That's right, it's the one in the tens place. Who is the fairy godmother? Yes, it's the eight. Does the fairy godmother have enough juju? Yes, she's an eight, which is five or higher, so poof! Cinderella becomes the princess and goes to the next higher number. You'll see the two is in red. And now the fairy godmother and any friends that are standing there after her to her right just boogie on down the road and are each replaced by a zero because their job is done. So what is 1,418 rounded to the nearest 10? You're right. It's 1,420. Oh, I can just hear you. I hear you. You say, well, that's all well and good, but what about a higher number? Well, you know what? It doesn't matter how big of a number you use. There's only ever going to be one Cinderella. She stands in the place value to which you are rounding the number. And there's only ever going to be one fairy godmother. She stands to Cinderella's right. But there can be lots and lots of the fairy godmother's friends. But you need to remember that they don't really count for anything. They don't make any decisions. They're just there for moral support for the fairy godmother. When the job is done, they just boogie on down the road with the fairy godmother and they get replaced by zeros at the end along with the fairy godmother. So how easy was that? Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Have fun rounding the numbers. And remember, the fairy godmother has enough juju if she's five or higher. Have fun!